Hello future Arati, let's welcome back to my channel DV Stories and this is the second part of the series famous historical monuments and today we are discussing about 10 buildings and their specifications so guys let's start the session firstly we start with Char Minar and it was located in Hyder Park and Char Minar was built by Muhammad Kuli Qutub Shah in 1591 in the beautiful city of Nizams and it is often called as the Arcade de Triumph of the East. It is located in the banks of Musi River and Charminar is close to close to Lad Bazar and Makkah Masjid. It is made up of granite and lime mortar. It has four minarets of height 56 meter hence it is named as Charminar. It has a square structure with each each, each side 20 meter long. It has a winding of 149 steps that leads to the top of the building. And here is the Char Minar. And we move to the next monument that is Meenakshi Temple and it was located in Madurai, Tamil Nadu. Meenakshi Temple is a historical Hindu temple located on the banks of Vaigi River. The temple is dedicated to Sundarishwaran and Meenakshi and it was built between 1623 to 1655 and it has a it has 14 gopurams which is gateway towers ranging from 45 to 50 meter in height the temple was looted by muslim raider malik kafur and the restoration was undertaken by the naik ruler vishnadha naikya in 16th century and the next building that is Hambi and it was located in Karnataka. Hambi was built by Harira and Bukharaya on the banks of Tungabhadra river in the northern parts of Karnataka and which was traditionally known as Pamba Chetra of Kishkinda. Hambi was the capital of Vijayanagar and it consists of more than 500 monuments which are a collection of beautiful temples, palaces, Buddhist cultures, ancient market streets, royal pavilions, bastions and royal platforms and treasury buildings. And it is also a UNESCO's World Heritage Site. And we are moving to the next monument that is Gold Gumbas. And it was located in Bijapur, Karnataka. Golgumbas is located in Bijapur district of Kar southern India, state of Karnataka, built in Islamic architecture during the reign of Adil Shahid dynasty. The tomb is known as the Taj Mahal of South India and it was completed in 1656 by an architect Yakut of Dabur. It is a mausoleum of Mohud Adil Shah and pine finds its name for Golgumacha which means circular dome. It has been built with a dark grey basalt stone. The central dome has a diameter of 44 meters which makes the second largest dome in the world after the dome of Peter's Basilica and Vatican which is unsupported by any pillars. Yeah. And the next monument is Monuments in Mahabalipuram. Mahabalipuram, also known as Mamalapuram, is located in Kanjivuram district, Tamil Nadu. And the kings Maha, Mahindra Orman I and Narasim Orman I are attributed for the designing of the monuments in 7th century AD. And Mahabalipuram has a group of sculptures carved, carved out, the, out of the rock. These are Rathans Mandavas designed of Ganges, the curves of Gaurdanagiri and Mahishasura Mardiri, Short Temple and short temple and the Arjun spins and it is it is also a UNESCO World Heritage site and we are moving to the next build monument that is Tirupati Balaji temple and it was located in Andhra Pradesh. Tirupati Balaji is famous famous as the world's richest temple situated in Tirumala town of Chitu district of Andhra Pradesh and the temple is dedicated to Lord Sri Vekateshwara the temple is constructed in Dravidian architecture and its construction was started from 300 AD. And the Palavas of Kanchivuram, 
Kanjivaram, the Cholas of Tanjavur, the Pandyas of Mathurai were devotees of Lord Venkateshwara. It was during the time of Sri Krishna Devaraya, the contributions to the temple increased. Yeah. It's about this building. Next, that is Mysore Palace. And it was located in Karnataka. Mysore Palace, also known as the Ambavilas Palace, is a royal palace of the rulers of the Mysore city. Yudhurai Vodhyar and Krishnaya Vodhyar, Mysore Palace. Mysore Palace, also known as the Ambavilas Palace, is a royal palace of the rulers of the Mysore city. Yudhurai Vodhyar and Krishnaya Vodhyar for it was built during the 14th century and it is incorporated with the Hindu, Muslim, Rajput and Gothic style of architecture. And it was rebuilt after the former wooden palace was destroyed by fire in the year of 1897 during a royal wedding. And the three-story building of the palace stretches across a length of 245 feet and 156 feet in breadth. It, it is a fine grey granite building with deep pink marbles, marbles dome. Okay. And the next that is Chola temples. Chola temples were built by the kings of Chola Empire during 11th to 12th century. The temples include the Brihadishara temple at Tanjavur and the Brihadishara temple at Gangai Kota Choli Shuram and Airavadishara temple at Dharasuram. The Brahadishara temple at Tanjavur was declared as UNESCO's World Heritage Site of India in 1987. And these Chola temples are represent the Dravidian style of architecture. The site is also known as the Great Inn of Chola temples. And we are moving to the next that is. Vivekananda Rock Memorial and it was located in Kanyakumari. Vivekananda Rock Memorial was built in the year of 1970. It was believed that, that the Swami Vivekananda came to Kanyakumari in the year of 1892 before his departure to Chicago to participate in the World Religious Conference in 1893. He sat on meditation rock on this rock for two two days and became a powerful spiritual leader and philosopher and the memorial has a statue of Swami Vivekananda which was made by the sculpture Sri NL. It has two main structures Vivekananda Mandapam and Sri Vada Mandapam. And we are moving to the next that is Padmanabhapuram Palace and it was located in Tamil Nadu. The palace in the Padmanabhapuram district in Kanyagumari, Tamil Nadu and maintained by the government of Kerala. It is a magnificent wooden palace built by the Travancore rulers in the 16th century. The palace consists of several structures like Mandrashala, Taikottaram which are Kuhn's mother palace and Tekke Southern Palace. And it's about today's session and we are doing some questions which helps to boost your confidence. So let's start. Who commissioned the construction of Charminar in Hyderabad? First question. And the options are And, and the options are Muhammad Kuli Kutab Shah, Akbar, the great Babu, Shahar Shah Suri. And here the answer is Muhammad Kuli, Kuli Kutab Shah, which river flows near Charminar in Hyderabad. Option A, Ganges, Yamuna, Musi, Godavari. And the answer is Musi River. And next, which ruler restored the Meenakshi temple in Madurai after it was looted by Malik Kapoor? 
and the options are Akbar the Great, Vishwanath Naikyar, Ashoka the Great, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. And the answer is Vishwanath Naikyar. The next question. Hambi, the capital of Vijayanagar, is situated on the banks of Vichy River. And the options are Ganges, Yamuna, Tungabhadra, Kaveri. And here the answer is Tungabhadra. Next, who is credited with the construction of gold compass in Bijapur? And the options are Akbar the Great, Krishna Devaraya, Adil Shah, Tipu, Sul Tipu Sultan. Here the answer is Adil Shah. Next, Mahabalibram is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. He is located in which Indian state? And the options are Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh. And here the answer is Tamil Nadu. Next, which temple in Andhra Pradesh is famously known the world's richest temple? And the options are Tirumala Temple, Brahadishira Temple, Meenakshi Temple, Jagannath Temple. Here the answer is Tirumala Temple, which is Tirupati Balaji Temple. And the next, Mysore Palace was rebuilt after it was destroyed by fire during which event? And the options are a royal coronation, a religious festival, a royal wedding, a military invasion. Here the answer is a royal wedding. The next, that is Chola temples known for their Dravidian architecture were built during which centuries? And, and the options are... 10th to 11th, 11th to 12th, 12th to 13th, 13th to 14th. And here the answer is 11th to 12th. And the last question that is, in which year was the Vivekananda Rock Memorial built in Kanyagumari? And the, the options are 1865. 1893, 1970, 2000. Here the answer is 1970. And it's about today's session. And we will come with the part three of this series, famous historical monuments. And stay tuned, guys. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.